in this video we will discuss if condition like in other programming languages we had the if condition which is true and false here also we had the if conditions but for if condition i'll have i'll have to take the metadata activity from the toolbox activity toolbox so i'm going to fetch this meta get metadata here so inside this get metadata set i am going to per get data set so this is the get data set from the source so if i go here inside the storage if i go to the storage account here i have the containers inside this container i have the source file and all these files are showing here and if i go here inside the data source if i show the source directory and the order items which it's uh, pointing to the same items order items 29.csv this is the first file here now i want to fetch some metadata so this metadata is what this is the field name so if i want to show the exist file if it is existing if i want to show more properties so i can get that also for example column count or example for example item name i can do that also but here i'm going to uh, i'm interested in the inside the exist only if it is existing i can move forward so now i'm going to perform the if condition here you can see the if condition here so now i'm going to see if condition so inside this if condition i'm going to perform the activities here i can see the true and false both conditions are given here but i want to perform something inside this true i want to do something inside here how would i get that if condition part if you go back inside the if condition you can see it's showing multiple property for example user properties activities and journal here you can see multiple objective are showing here but before this if condition i'm going to delete this if condition and going to run the get meta activity individually so here you can see it's uh, running and will fetch all the relevant keywords or properties here if i show the output here you can see it's uh, showing existing true item name is this dot csv column count uh, column count is 5 and other properties so i'm interested in exist is equal to true when this condition is true then only it will perform the next activity now i'm going to click on the if condition again again inside this if condition i can see the true and false condition so i am interested in the this property should be parameterized so i'm going to add dynamic content here here i can see the parameters system variables functions variables so nothing is showing here i want to create the dependency over this get metadata how would i get this on skip or on success so on success it should be connected to my if condition so i'm going to select this condition if condition and we'll check this property expression property again can you see now it's showing activity output so just look at the activity output activity return value activity column code count activity exist so i'm going to select this exist can you see it's showing the relevant variable dynamic content activity get meta output dot exist if i click on ok now it's a dependent on if condition now inside this if condition i'll click if this condition is true then i click the add activity so this is the copy activity so here you can see this is the copy activity or i can go inside this edit option i can see the copy activity here what i'll do i'll try to select the source data source which will be the source file if you want to see the data you can click on preview data set i want to paste entire data from this location to another location what is the another location another location is the sync part here you can see sync file is showing here i want to move that file here if that condition is true i want to show the sync data set and this is showing the 
uh, I'll have to create the another data set because it's showing the only data set source. So I'm going to create new data set inside this new data set. I'm going to click Lake Storage. OK. Delimit. OK. And this time I'm going to create name it data set underscore sync and link service same link service I'm going to correct it and this time I'm going to provide sync file that's ok so inside this file you can see it's showing the directory path uh, folder path only container path only it's not showing any directory or file name so go back here to the pipeline inside this copy activity I'll select the data set sync now now you can see it's showing the correct path if I import the schema here it will import all the schema yes I need all the parts here and not showing any any error here also if I go back this is just here if I go back inside the pipeline this is the complete get metadata and if condition here inside the copy copy data, data activity if it is true it will perform this copy activity it is false it's not showing it's not performing any activity let's debug here so if get metadata activity is succeeded then it will trigger the true condition and then will copy the will perform the copy activity can you see my get metadata is succeeded then it will go with the if condition then it will run copy activity so it will take few minutes few uh, seconds also can you see all three activities are succeeded because we had provided correct path there let's see the storage file go to the sync storage we had not we hadn't anything here Let, allow me to refresh this part can you see this file has been moved here why it's having txt let me show this part as well if you go to the true part click on the copy activity inside this thing can you see this is the file extension if you make it csv so it will paste that file in the format of csv so i'm going to debug it again or going to debug entire condition so this time it will paste that file in the format of csv will it overwrite the old file what is the option of course let's see whether we have copied that file or not let's refresh can you see not showing both the files because we didn't over overwrite the last file because we had the csv extension here we had the txt extension here so this is the this is showing both the files here this is how you can perform the if condition using the get metadata activity thank you so much for watching this video